Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to recover data from a RAID array with the help of Hetman RAID Recovery. We are going to recover a RAID 0 Stripe array created with the help of Adaptec ASR 6805T controller and obtain data from a damaged RAID system. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Although RAID can improve the reliability of data storage, still it's not the cure-all solution against data loss. Experience has shown that if you rely completely on the array's reliability and overlook to create a regular backup plan, a single controller failure or disk failure means a grave risk of losing the data that you think is so reliably stored inside your RAID. The probability of data loss can be reduced by monitoring the array status regularly and conducting maintenance works, but you can never bring it to naught. There is always a risk to lose data, but it's good to have specialized software around able to bring the missing files back. Hetman RAID Recovery restores data from non-operational RAID systems or from disks within such systems. The utility reads from the storage system all the information about the controller, the motherboard or the software used to create a disk array. Our product can rebuild the crash rate and it lets you copy all important information from there. First of all, let's find out why a RAID system may fail. Uh, the most common cause that makes disk arrays fail is the negligence of their system administrators. If one of the hard disks is out of order and is not replaced timely, it may cause data loss in the future. Both hard disk types HDD and SSD have a limited operational life. For most RAID arrays, the day when one or two disks fail means loss of all information from all disks within this array. When one of the disks fails, uh, the best option is to back up important data immediately, replace the faulty disk and rebuild the array. It is very important to back up vital information before the rebuilding, because errors may occur while the disk is replaced and when, when the whole system freezes it can only be solved by restarting it. Mistakes uh, when replacing one of the disks within the storage system, accidental rebuilding the array instead of restoring it, disconnecting and reconnecting the disks in the wrong order, incorrect rate initialization – any of these things will certainly result in the loss of information. Besides, there are many other causes that may damage your rate. The controller or motherboard breakdown, an operating system crash, a virus attack, system update or hardware upgrade, etc. All in all, there are too many factors to trigger a data loss and make you seek opportunities to recover valuable information. Before doing anything, you are supposed to know uh, what shouldn't be done unless you want to lose the data for good. So, don't rebuild an array with old disks hoping that it might start and work properly. In the process, you may get all the remaining data overwritten, and it won't be restored in any way then. Don't conduct initialization, because check disk, scan or other similar actions may mean trouble. Always remember that in a case of data loss, you should stop writing anything to the disks, because it may overwrite them with new data. Before doing anything after a RAID crash, it's always a good idea to ask a professional for advice. At the moment, there are about 15 RAID types around, or maybe more, if we consider the outdated versions. Of all the possible variations, the most widespread types are RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 10, RAID 5 and RAID 6. Hetman RAID Recovery supports disk arrays created both with the operating system or motherboard features and with specialized controllers or external storage solutions by various manufacturers. You can see all the supported RAID types on the screen. RAID 1, 0, 10, 5, 50, 1E, 5E, 5 E, 2, 6, 4, 60, which stands for 6 plus 0, and JBOD. Recovering data from RAID systems differs greatly from conventional data recovery operations, 
because the RAID architecture uses a unique and complicated method to store and extract information. With our product, even novice users will have a chance. It has a special feature that detects the configuration of the damaged RAID system automatically. Having collected all the available information from the system and connected disks, the utility displays the automatically built arrays immediately, as soon as the program starts. In most cases, the program manages to restore RAID on the fly and suggests you to analyze the identified partitions and save any available data. If you are up to recover data from RAID disks, using professional data recovery software is crucial. The Data Recovery Wizard integrated into Hetman RAID Recovery will help you restore data from any hard disk within a RAID system, as long as your computer can recognize it. In our case, we have created a RAID 0 Stripe array based on an Adaptec ASR6805T controller and two hard disks. There is some data on the disks, several folders containing photos and videos. Let's simulate a case of controller failure. Connect the hard disk directly to a Windows 10 computer. The operating system recognizes these disks as raw format, and when you try to open one of them, the notification saying location is not available pops up. Usually you have to format the disk to access it, but if you do it, all the information on it will be lost. In this case, however, we'll be using the special tool to restore data from RAID. Download, install and run Hetman RAID Recovery. Open the Drive Manager tab and find the line RAID Arrays. Select your RAID from the list, right-click on it and click Open. Try a fast scan first. If the disk structure is not damaged, the disk scan type will suffice. If the fast scan can't find the missing data, then go for full analysis. When it's over, the program will display the results in the right side of the window. It has found all the files still remaining on the disks and those that have been removed, so all you need to do is to save them to another disk.
If the program could not detect your RAID automatically, use the RAID constructor. It has several modes to help you with this task. If the program managed to detect your RAID type, select it from the list and click Next. Check if the array characteristics are detected correctly, and if they are, just click Add. If your array is not listed, Build it with the help of three modes available at your disposal. The first mode is automatic. The program will ask you to specify the number of disks that your RAID used to consist of, and below you select these disks by checking the corresponding boxes, and then click Next. The program will start the automatic search for all possible configurations, and your task is to select the one you need from the list and click Add. After that, the RAID system will appear in the Drive Manager. Now it can be analyzed to recover the missing data. Another method to add a RAID system is to search it by vendor. The program contains possible array combinations used by popular controller manufacturers, as well as patterns applied by software-based or combined RAID systems. Here, specify the vendor of the controller that you use to create the RAID and the RAID type. If you know the block size for the hard disk, specify it by choosing the corresponding option. It will make the search more efficient. When all the known information about this RAID is provided, click Next. Specify the number of disks that your RAID used to consist of. Select the disk below and hit Next again. The program will start searching for possible configurations and display it in the next window. Select a suitable configuration and click Add. The RAID system will appear on the list of disks. With manual mode, you can create a RAID storage system of any configuration. However, this method is better suited for advanced users, as it requires more detailed information about the RAID system. When data is written to a RAID array, the information is broken into blocks and written to different disks within the array. That is why, in the manual mode, the program will ask you to specify the number of disks that your RAID used to consist of, the block size and other useful information. Specify the RAID type, block size, add the disks that were used in this RAID and indicate their order. To change the order of the disks, select the one you need and use the arrow keys to move it up or down the list. If you don't know this information, it's safer to use one of the methods for adding an array that have been described before. However, if you have all the array information, it will make the search and recovery operations much faster. Also, you can specify the disk offset and delay options. When you specify all the properties you know, click Add. After that, scan the disk and after the analysis is over, 
Go to the directory where the lost information used to be. Hetman Raid Recovery features a special preview mode which lets you see the file's contents without writing any data to the damaged array. Select the files you want to restore and click Recovery. Specify where to save the data and click Recovery again. When the process is over, you will find the recovered data in the folder you have chosen for saving it. In addition to disk arrays created with the help of specialized controllers, motherboards, or external storage systems, our program can also recover data from RAID systems based on the features integrated into Windows, Mac, Linux, and Unix operating systems. As you can see, this program is quite simple and user-friendly. If you have some basic understanding of how your RAID system works, you'll be able to recover data from such disks without too much effort. It doesn't matter how many disks remain to be healthy in your RAID and how much of their space is overwritten. This program analyzes the remaining disks and tries to combine them into a healthy array. In the course of rebuilding the array and searching for the information, missing data is getting replaced by zeros, and the program tries to extract the remaining information from the disks and help the user recover it. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Push the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.